Hello YouTube fam, welcome back to Becky's Basic Life and I'm Becky and I have a Meyer pickup haul to share with you today and the grand total on that was $179.85 so I'm just shy of 200 bucks so let's dive in and see what that got me today. So we'll just start here on this end. Um, I got some cage free eggs, the organic eggs, um, just because they're good for you and I eat, we eat a lot of eggs. Um, just TP and then this Cascade Platinum, you guys. I really like this, I think better than the finish. Um, I have finished, but I like this. And I had a coupon for $2 off, so I figure I'd just go back and forth. I feel like the Cascade gets my glassware sparklier than the finish does. I don't know, just me. What do you think? And then I got this Mrs. Meyers baking soda cleaner. I wonder if it's like soft soap. Like, I love that stuff for cleaning my sinks and, you know... And I think this is like, yeah, sink, so stove tops, pots and pans. So I thought I'd give that a try. Maybe it's better. I don't know. Um, it was in their fall section of cleaning supplies. So I just thought I'd give it a try. Then I have just like an outdoor paint project. Like we're doing a window thingy. So I just needed a little bit of paint for that. I want to get that done before winter. And then for my pal Jack, he always has to have these. So I make sure he is fully stocked there. And then I was getting low on cupcake liners. And I think, aren't these cute? I love polka dots. So I had a shirt that had these kind of polka dots. My mom said that she would wash it and I would instantly wear it like I lived in this shirt. And if you look back at my kid pictures, I pretty much always have this shirt on. So um, I don't know. I guess I never really changed. Still love polka dots. So, uh, and then to throw on my pantry shelf, I got this organic chicken breast, um, just, you know, for all the things, dips, all, you know, eat it, just eat it, chicken salad, all the things. Um, I got these carrots because I put them in Jack's food, not in his bones. I make his whole dog food and I always put carrots usually in his food and I was out of carrots for him. So I just got those. And then they had this sugar on sale. It's the less processed. See, it's like the lighter, or it's not white. It's like, you know, golden. So it's that's supposed to be the less, um, better for you, less processed sugar. And then just some plain Jane sugar. And I'll just throw this on my pantry shelf because it's getting to be fall and winter and, you know, you bake more and stuff. So um, just making sure I have that on hand. So pick it up when it's on sale. And then I'm a maniac and love these stupid things. Um, just because I'm getting to be the old lady with the hard candy. Like when you go through the change, you know, everything dries up. So I always make sure I keep hard candy on hand. And then I found this fun thing, you guys, the sparkling honey crisp apple cider with cherry. I thought that might be really good, like a fun fall drink. So I got that. I have never tried it. So um, it is 100 calories for the can. So if you want to make that less, split it with somebody. Share the love. Or if it's gross, give it to them all and they can have all the calories. <laughs> Whatever. And then I got some apple cider because my dear friend Kendra had to be making this apple cider cake. So uh, apple cider donut cake it is rather and I'm sure lots of people make that so that will be I love that cake and that will be in our very near future so uh, butter was on sale so I got two of those I love this extra creamy butter um, some bacon was on sale that'll just go in my freezer and then I got the ready to eat kind that you just throw in the microwave and make it nuclear um, just for something quick. Uh, then I got two things of chicken breast, just plain. Uh, I know I talked about when I went to Amro, this little butcher shop um, in our state, and it's amazing. But I bought all chicken that is flavored, so I just need some plain stuff. And then some yummy red potatoes. Those are my favorite. Um, I got these mini pepperonis. Even though I'm talking about fall stuff, I have a recipe for a new pasta salad, and that's a summery thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep with summer as long as I can. But in this pasta salad, it said it's like you use you can buy like bottled already pre-made Italian 
dressing I'll just make my own but she said she always adds this the salad supreme seasoning to it and it's like um I don't know I have not tried it I don't know if it's supposed to make it yummier I guess I don't know I just thought I'd try it because she had that in a recipe and it sounds good the recipe itself is pepperoni like green and black olives um red onion and I think cheese and then you use the um you know, the noodles, the tricolor, different noodles. So use that. So I'm like, I got to make this this month. We'll have one last pasta salad before winter, fall comes. And then just the basics, plain old um, organic whole milk, um, celery. We were out of that. Black pepper just to throw on my pantry shelf. Some mayo to put on my pantry shelf. These were on sale, so I just bought two of them because I think I've mentioned, you know, my family really likes mayo. And I really like Kraft mayo the best. It's the creamiest. It's like, for me, it's Kraft, then Dukes, then Hellman's, and I guess in a pinch I'll use whatever store brand you can get. I mean, I should make my own because let's see what's in this. I'm sure nothing good uh let's see it's not saying it's containing the bioengineered stuff but it has all yeah see soybean oil that's all the seed oils that are not good for us so i really should not be lame and just it's so easy to whip up your own mail so i think that is it i think i went through all of this i um what are you guys doing i have a lot of i have to put all this away and as you can see, I'm playing Jenga, obviously, with these dishes here. I don't know if I could fit another dish in this sink. I mean, these are all clean, but I have to put them away. And I'm lazy about it because, you guys, our kitchen cabinets are the lamest. Whoever designed our stupid kitchen cabinets, they're dumb. And it's annoying to put things away because it's annoying. So I, I basically play Jenga with my dishes until I can't stand anymore. And then I put it away. So I have that and I just, oh, I got a bunch of fun, um, a fun thrifted things. I don't know if you want to see, I'll quick share. Oh, and I got chicken. See, I have chicken going here. I got to shred this up. We're having a chicken and rice and broccoli type thing for dinner. So I think that's done. So I'll just cut that up and <clears throat> throw together the casserole for dinner tonight. And then I can just, um, throw it in the oven before my hubby gets home. So I have that to do. I have cleaning laundry, but I did find some fun, um, fun things here. I got this, this kind of vintage old looking candlestick. And then I got this fun for $2.99. This is a vintage. I don't know. I think this was like, you know, they covered it and then, you know, I don't know. I call them pea pots, <laughs> but I think that's what this is. It's not like a pot that you would put food in, ew. And then just this kind of old, you know, kind of, I think I'm going to do this color. I'm sick of the white and everything. I want the colors of actual fall, I think. So I got that. And I got this cute little vintage um, creamer. I just liked the scallop design on it. I thought it was kind of cute. I mean, this stupid thing was $2.99. But then this big thing was $2.99. Like, whoever does their prices pricing needs to I don't know be talked to about that and then I got this I don't know I just like this country blue this old um I don't know coffee pot I think it's just kind of cute I had a white one back in the day and I actually used to make coffee in it on the stove it actually it was good and then I got uh, not an iPad holder but I got this tray and I thought this would be fun because I always like to do something on my coffee or this on my kitchen table here I don't know it's a lazy Susan kind but I thought that would maybe be fun to try something else I don't know and then oh you guys one last thing I know this is a grocery haul and I'm showing you all this home decor but I found this piece of ironstone for two bucks look at this I love ironstone I collect it little bits here and there but just from like thrift stores and um, like rummages or whatever. So I did stop at a rummage and that was my one fun find. And I'm into the 80s. I loved the 80s and 90s. I've told you this a million times, but look, I found this guy, this swan soup tureen. I just thought he was fun and had to put that on there. So anyway, um, I guess I should shut up and get my groceries put away. 
and get cleaning. I have laundry to do. What are you guys doing? I have I have chores galore. So I don't know. I hope you guys are doing well. And um, I will see you guys again next week. Um, we'll talk soon. And thanks for always stopping by. Take care, you guys. Ciao.